Kayak Bassin is brought to you by Ram Mounts. Made in the USA, Ram Mounts open up a world of possibilities for your kayak. Learn more about our mounting solutions at rammount.com. All right, guys, so we've made the move to another beautiful Tennessee River. JG couldn't be with us today, so we got the third man in the Tennessee Moving Waters lineup, Mr. Eki Isabor. Hello. And we're about to get out here and do a little brown back, bronze back, brown bass <laughs> beatdown. So let's get on the river, brother. You know, I'm actually what I would consider a relatively experienced river angler. But uh, yesterday I kind of got caught flat footed. I brought too many rods. I spent half of the day going, oop, trees and grabbing my rods and stressing over whether or not I was gonna get hung up more than I did just enjoying fishing. So today I've kind of downsized. I got two rods with me. You know, to be honest with you, the way I fish, I almost feel naked with two rods. Creek we're in today is a little bit different than the one we're in yesterday. This water's got a little bit of color to it and the uh, Section, some of the sections are a little slower and deeper. This creek has some large mouth mixed in with the small mouth here. Some spotted bass here and there. The, the small mouth tend to congregate in the faster moving water here and the large mouth get in the slower, deeper sections. Otherwise, this creek is pretty typical of most you'll see in Middle Tennessee. Gravel bottoms with some nice limestone bluffs. The old spotted bass. <laughs> oh no. Heck he's out. You all right? You know, I guess that turkey don't know what I had for lunch yesterday. Look at this dude. Dude, I've been turkey hunting all season. And ain't got a turkey that close. And that's just another cool thing about kayaking, man. As you just get out here and you get to see nature like no other way. If you're running a power boat, and that turkey would hear you from 300 yards up and be a mile back in the woods. And this dude just hanging out here. We're not a threat. Oh, that's cool. This is one of those places I could just see myself going without a fishing rod, as bad as I hate to admit it. What am I doing? Am I going soft? Yeah. Made it by a sandwich. Hey, if I'd have ate lunch, I wouldn't have made it through here. Paddle for the beach. You know, the one thing about rivers is they can be beautiful, <laughs> but they're a lot like my ex-wife, and they can be dangerous too. Portage. Looks good to me. Come through here, yep. go through there, get in the river, and come down the backside. We've got a small little portage to make, jump in the back creek, the back flow, and come down the side, and we'll be safely through here. You never want to attempt to try to make it through a, a river wide strainer, and if there's not an alternate route, make one. One thing about these wilderness systems ride 115s is we put a lot of thought into durability, we put a lot of thought into style, but we put a whole lot more thought into function. One of the cool things that we did is allow you to store a rod 
up to seven foot three in an 11 and a half foot boat. That's the longest rod out here today. Stuck it in my boat real easy to make the rest of this trek without worrying about breaking a rod. Man, this is gorgeous back here. You know what, this must be what it feels like to be one of them really big bucks in an area where there's a whole bunch of does, options everywhere, and just not a whole lot of time. <laughs> there we go, fish on. <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> hey, listen, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Pour some vodka in it. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.